Hey everybody, it's Wellens, and welcome back to Oxenfree with Oxenfree 2 Lost Signals. Ooh, it's been a long time since we've been with Oxenfree. The first game came out about six years ago, I believe. Pretty nostalgic for me, because it was back when I feel like I was pretty new to the whole Let's Play thing still. Yeah, I still see this game brought up in the comments sometimes too, so I feel like probably a lot of you remember me from that as well. Oxenfree 2 is apparently a direct sequel to the first one, but they said on the store page that it doesn't matter if you've played it or not. If you play the original, then your experience will be enhanced, but it's not required. I did really quickly catch up on the first game again, but the details might be hazy. Feel free to fill me in on anything you think I'm missing. Iconic. Is leave possible? How... how... Wait, wait, wait. How did I get here? Am, am I... Is this another... <sighs> another? Did that voice just now... That was... Alex, right? The main character from the first one, and Jonas was her stepbrother? The first one had a bunch of different endings. It was depending on the choices you made, but by the end, Alex... Well, I think the... Well, I'm gonna say the ending of the first one right now, okay? It was basically an infinite time loop, and Alex was stuck, I believe. Riley? Riley, are you there? Uh... Riley, come in, Riley. Y yes? I, I I can barely hear you. You're going in and out. Oh great. Who is this? I can't hear what you're what you're saying. <sighs> Wait, the radio thing has like a seven eight nine now? What does that mean? different channels or something? I'm not sure how to use it yet. Maybe I'll just wait for them to teach me. I can't seem to- oh, there we go. Ooh. One through nine. Riley is completely new. I don't remember her. I don't know who she is, but she's on this island. Is this the same island? Uh, was it Edward's Island? Oh dear. Why am I here alone? Oh, But when she woke up, she was like, is this another? So it's happened before. Terrible dream? Ah, uh, A very beautiful window. Either I shouldn't have taken that extra half of a sleeping pill tonight, or I really am here and have no clue why. But every time you dream about the same location, that can't be a good thing. Doesn't look like the lamp works anymore. <gasps> Hold up, what's going on up there? Is it's like a passageway into the past of some kind. Past? Whoa. Oh. 1952. Um, where is this? Where am I? Bury me. Ooh. Where you can't see water. Oh. Come in, Riley. If you're there, 
Sir, pick up, please. Riley, Was that the campfire? Answer, please. Over. The campfire from the first one? That last scene just now. Hey, uh, who is this? Sorry, can you hear me? The distortion might be futzing with this. I'm just glad the walkie's still kind of in range. I'm Evelyn, an environmental researcher with the lab. Uh, welcome to your first day on the job. I'm sure APM. Leslie went over this stuff with you already during training and orientation, so forgive me if I repeat a few things. You're just going to be planting transmitters along the coast to help us study anomalous frequencies. First of all, can you hear me okay? Over. Yeah, it's okay, but uh, what's the job again? <laughs> Something about transmitters? Leslie probably told you, we're an environmental group. Local governments will contract us to study the effects of deforestation or noise pollution. But my specific area of expertise is in strange or otherwise unique natural phenomena. Electrogravity, ion winds, you know, stuff like that. Now, over the last few months, Kamina's been overrun with disruptions in the electromagnetic spectrum. Kamina. These frequencies act like radio waves, but as far as we know, aren't. And they're messing with the town's comm equipment, TV stations, even air traffic signals. The transmitters you'll place will relay any signals back to us so we can study them. Got it? Over. Uh... So there's weird frequencies blocking airplane chatter that no one can explain? And maybe I'm misunderstanding, but this is kind of spooky, right? No, you're dead on. This is super spooky. The sort of thing my partners get out of bed for. Your transmitters and climbing gear, for the rocky terrain, are being held with the very polite manager of the general store. Should be right in the center of the harbor. Go get them and then call me back, okay? Oh, and before I forget, uh, you have a walkie-talkie. You'll be using it to keep in contact with me and anyone else you need to chat with. Uh, do you need me to go over the basics of how to use it? I figured it out, but sure. I, I could actually use a refresher if you don't mind. Not a problem, not a problem. So go ahead and look at your walkie. There are a lot of channels, as you can see. I'll always be on channel 7. So if you ever want to chat, just click over to that and say hi. But uh, let's let's hop over to channel 5 so you can see it working. Hey, Evelyn, I'm here. Be there. Perfect. I'm your night watch, so I'll be on all night, unless I'm using the bathroom or <laughs> taking a bug outside or something. All right, let, let, let's switch back to seven so we're not crowding anyone else who could be using this channel. See you on seven. Hey, Evelyn, I'm back on seven. Over. Great. Hey, hi. So, uh, everything about the walkie-talkie makes sense? Uh, I, I guess? Everyone's on a different channel? Makes total sense. You're a good teacher. Uh, over. Oh, thanks. I try to be. Well, nice to meet you, Riley, even if not in person yet. Let me know when you got your gear, okay? General store. Okay, over and out. All right. Kamina. This island's called Kamina? Last stop to Washington, they said. An hour from any town, they said. Ugh, I just cannot believe I forgot my headphones. Oh, that's the worst. You actually have to listen to the outside world. All the beautiful sounds of nature. Copper Creek Trail. Um, she told me to go to the general store, but... I don't think I can go yet. Can I? I don't think so. We gotta get our stuff. Uptown Harbor. Eva's got worms. Why are we here at night time? Why can't we do this during daytime? Is that just not a thing? Kamina Coast. Tickets for the ferry to Edwards Island. Children mm. under seven must be accompanied by an adult. I wonder how many lonely eight-year-olds want to spend their weekends touring bird colonies. Edwards Island was the first one, so this is within ferry distance of the first one. Oh, we landed here. Mm. By myself. It's very reassuring. So there's a whole bunch of people on other stations? Channels? Oh. Uh, hello? Recorded message. You've reached the Kamina High School radio advice line. <laughs> if you'd like to get some advice, please call again when the line is open. Listen to 88.1 to tune in and find out when to call. Thank you. Have an okay day. Oh, you have an okay day as well, then, I guess. So that was the, the radio advice 8. 
That's the only one I can talk to. Alright, gotcha for now. Okay, before we continue on, maybe let's get the whatever's at the general store first. But this looks kind of similar to Edwards Island, though, even though... Well, I don't remember it exactly, but I feel like some of this stuff looks nostalgic. Huh, doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, I should probably call Evelyn and let her know. Let's break in. What is this? A flyer? Learn about our free soul body health class. Luna has the power to heal. Join parentage. Keep to uh, the stars. Blood, moon, tide. Okay. Huh. Yeah, they want me to call Evelyn. Closed. Back Wednesday. Are you kidding? What day is it today? Hey, Evelyn. Is there like another general store nearby? Because there's nobody here, so... I don't know what to do. Over? Ah, oh, crud. Okay. You must have closed early. This isn't a deal breaker, though. Just head up the hill on your way to Camper Cape. Your partner, Jacob Summers, is having some car trouble, but he's got a transmitter you both can use for tonight. Over. Uh, oh, I'm I'm sorry, but partner? If I'd known I was working with somebody, I uh, might, have, might have remembered to put on deodorant. Oh, it's <clears> fine. <throat> he's another contractor, Jacob Summers. We like to use a buddy system when people are in the field. You never of course. know what could happen. People slip or get bit by snakes or... Sorry, Riley. Uh, one sec. That can't be right. Those readings don't make any sense. Hey, uh, Evelyn, is everything all right? It's not even talking to Sorry, me. Sorry, Riley, I gotta go, but uh, real quick, you have your map with you, right? Pull it out for a second. So, as you can see, there's a lot of land to cover, and a lot of it is inaccessible Ooh. unless you have climbing gear. All those rocks and cliffs and crap are too dangerous without rope and anchors. But Jacob's still at Copper Creek Trail, northwest of where you're at right now. Take the road, and you'll get there pretty quick. Wow, this place looks... Pretty damn big. Can I write on that notepad or is that just a thing? I don't even know. Alright. Funnies. Lighthouse. Yeah, there's the dock. We walked over to North Kamina Community Center. There is a place called Garland Ghost Town, so that's amazing. Okay. Alright, alright. Also, by the way, your map has a lot of useful information. Don't be afraid to whip it out if you ever get lost or forget what you're doing. Okay, I'll call you later when you're with Jacob. Thanks, Riley. Over and out. I should have asked why I couldn't start tomorrow. This building looks like Lewis and Clark could have slept here, but the uh, security's new. Maybe it's a meeting house now or something? Community center, apparently. Hmm. Maybe let's go meet Jacob and hurry up. I forget if we could walk faster. I think this is it. When we're talking, we automatically slow down a bit. Camber Cape. Camber Cape? Some of these postings are pretty old. God, 20 bucks an hour for a babysitter? If she doesn't fly through the chimney with a school of singing penguins, that's a total ripoff. What? What? $20, $20 is so little for a babysitter! Gym teacher wanted. High school. Degree not required. Well, if this doesn't pan out, summer's off is always nice. You're gonna pay a babysitter minimum wage to take care of your kid? Minimum... <laughs> a babysitter has to do a lot! Order three large pizzas at Zuki's Pizza and get two half off. Why not just add one free pizza? And why is this making me so angry? I hate the missing kids posters. They used to really freak me out. At least when I was a kid. Hmm. It's still kind of spooky though when you're alone here like this. What is this flag? Kamina... flag. I don't even know. Jacob... summer... Copper Creek Trail. Whatever the current day is, it's not 1952. Can we say that much? I think so. That's pretty. 
I'll give the place that. But it is creepy as well. I'm some kind of... I already forgot our mission. What was it? Transmitters? Uh, affecting airship signals? There he is. Missing Lucy Pasterson, age seven, born 1979. This has been up for a while. <sighs> Hope you ran away to California, kid. Well, this poster was put up in the 80s then. And it's not, it's been a while since the 80s. I'm guessing this is pretty recent, like modern day 2020, past 2020. No, no, it's not. Bye, Jacob. <laughs> okay, let's meet. Hi, partner. Where the hell is that stupid kit? Hey, uh, so sorry, but are you Jacob? Jacob Summers? Oh, hey, yeah, I I'm Jacob, which makes you, uh, Riley? Evelyn let me know you were on the way. Uh, you, you, you kind of caught me in the middle of... <laughs> this is embarrassing. I, I can't get my truck to start. And do we need it? It was going to be our ride around town for the job, but she might be on her last legs. Oh, man. Uh, well, well, wait, uh, how'd you get it here? Was it working before? It was, but not now, or, or I'm just an idiot. Uh, let's, can we try something? The key's in the ignition. Could you just start up the engine real quick? You don't know if I'm I have a license. see if it's the, uh, starter or the battery. I'm sorry, but I, I don't really know trucks. Maybe if this was a station wagon. All you have to do is turn the key. I won't check your license. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, turn, turn it off. Back. Well, <laughs> thanks. I won't even try to explain what happened. I can't even pretend. Oh, that's bad, right? That's not what we want? No. <sighs> that's not what we want. I think we can call time of death on this one. Riley and Jacob, did you guys meet up yet? Uh, this is Evelyn. Over. Oh, I think that's our uh, boss's doing a check-in. Want to hey, answer Evelyn. that? Evelyn. Yeah, you got Riley and Jacob here. Over. Okay, great. Hi, Jake. Jake's great. He's a handyman regularly, but we were lucky to get his help with this. Your truck ready? You guys good to go? Uh, not yet, Evelyn. Jacob's truck was struck down by a mysterious illness. I think the engine's fried. Interference. Is our first transmitter point far? Over. Uh, kinda. It's Camber Cape. We want to try and get as much over-air traffic as we can. I see now why you asked if I had an all-terrain vehicle. We're going to Camber Cape? That's... it's not far. It's a hike. Yeah. You two are going to be planting transmitters all around Kamina. Jacob, you have transmitters, right? Uh, just one. Riley, I'm strapped for space, so, uh, could you grab the transmitter? It's right there on the blanket. Well, I do have the backpack. I promise I won't think of you as our pack mule. <laughs> then why even say that? <laughs> now you're making me think about it, too. Oh, neat. One tonight, and a few more tomorrow when the general store opens. Cool. Okay, guys, I feel good about this. Really. Jacob, Riley, have any questions? Yes. Why are we... Why are we doing this at night? Before I finally get some dinner? I'm sorry, but I just want to be sure I caught everything. It's okay. It's, it's a bit specialized. You and Jacob are going to put transmitters, these big metal poles, into a few areas around Kamina. These will gather electromagnetic data and send them to our lab for study. We're doing this because some radio signals are disrupting the town's equipment, and no one can figure out why yet. All right, guys. Good luck. Let me know if you run into any trouble or have any future questions. I'll be on most of the night. Thanks, Evelyn. Talk to you later. All right, Evelyn. Uh, thanks. Uh, bye. I mean, it sounds a lot oh, like Riley, the truck being quick, dead has to do with this. You see that radio on my truck? Uh, can you grab it? Sorry, but I, I kind of got my pockets full. Uh, yeah, sure thing. Oh. Yes, the radio. Oh, thanks. Hey, try it out. 
This far from town, we won't get the whole range, but I think we can get the uh, local baseball game. Tune it to 93.7. Uh, yeah, okay. Just give me a sec. We should have asked why it's important. I used to watch crayfish games with my older brother like 20 years ago. But uh, thanks. It, it sounds great. Uh, good. Okay, by foot, Camber Cape is up this way. Shouldn't take too long. Oh, but don't you want to go look around everywhere else besides Camber Cape, Garland Highway? Well, we're not walking a highway by foot. I want to see what will happen, though. So, uh, Evelyn, she's, she's a little funny, right? She seems nice. She ran me through the job a week ago, and she's definitely a character. Oh, funny? Like, how do you mean? I, I, I don't even know. She's just... I mean, her voice has a thing to it, you know? She's a, a character. If I hear her at a train station or something, I'll immediately know. That's Evelyn. Really? She should be a radio DJ, then. Hey, uh, this is a really stupid time to bring this up, but but when I heard your name, Riley, I... Well, do, do you remember junior year? This is Osmore's English class and uh, EE fifth period. We, we went to high school together. I dated your friend. Uh, oh, God. Patty. <laughs> you know, Butter Patty. We ran in different circles, but... I just wanted you to know that I knew we knew each other. That's all. Hey. <laughs> oh, Biggie. You're kind of cold, Riley. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. G good to see you. Uh, yeah, you too. So, uh, hi, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. Uh, first day on the job topics. I'll just follow I'm him. I'm call an independent contractor. You know, light fixtures, building a deck. But I signed up for this partly because of how weird everything's been. It, it's, it's why I brought the radio, actually. Evelyn won't get into it, but you can tune into super strange stuff if you know how to find it. Hmm. Super strange stuff? I, like, more than just foreign stations bouncing off a satellite somewhere? Uh, yeah. Way more. It used to happen just on Edwards Island. It was a sort of inexplicable audiovisual phenomenon. Using any old radio, you could tune into physical objects. I'm curious if we'll get readings from the island. Wait, what does tune into physical objects mean? I can't even picture what that could- Yeah, it's hard to explain. When tuned to the right signal, a radio would sort of charge up stuff in the environment. Oh, wait, sorry, the, the, the path splits here. Uh, the, the right is for more experienced hikers. Can we take the longer path on the left? It'll take an extra minute, but... Oh, no, yeah. Less opportunity to break a foot? Okay, that uh, sure thing. Left path it is. I got time. Great, thanks. We got the whole but, night. Uh, we were talking about radios, yeah. The effects, though, that radio effects has kind of bled from the island to around here now. But I, I'm sorry, I'm just into this stuff. Super nerd techy. That's like ghosts are spreading or something. You see but what happened I've been there? Talking my head off ever since we <laughs> got. Okay, what's uh, what brought you back? Yes, Oxenfree has a million lines of dialogue, so we're not going to get a free time to talk. Is it temporary or just got homesick? I I just needed a reset. I think. I've been, in hindsight, I haven't really planted roots in any one place or in any one thing or in oh, he's anybody thinking about me. even, really. And it's not like I can get away with that forever. <laughs> Especially now. Oh, no, I hear you. I'm, I'm kind of the opposite. I never left. I see. I really explored or... I, I mean, I've been on trips and stuff, but nowhere else really stuck like Kamina. But you stayed because you like it, right, Kamina? I am content. But you'd never know how content you'd be if you did things differently, right? Yeah, I think, I guess. But it also means you have a baseline for what to expect, though. So it's not all bad. It just depends on what kind of person you are. I wanted to say earlier that when we went to the right side, the dialogue immediately switched to the, oh, hey, hey, let's not go over to that side. That was really cool. And that was always one of those things that Oxen Free did really well because it has so much dialogue. And then it just seamlessly switched back to, oh, yeah, let's talk about the radio again. That was neat. For now, I'll follow you. Maybe I should use the radio a bit, huh? Visiting Walla Walla anteaters or wondering why they spent the gas money. Walla Walla anteaters. Well, besides for the baseball game. Splash of white vinegar, a splash of lime juice. Here's where we're gonna get tricky. Uncontroversial. 
but uh, before we do that, I'm told we need to go to break because of... Yeah, Nora, I can't just tell them. Okay, fine. Fine. I'm told there is some... And these words of pure poetry are not my own, but here you go. Weird crap in the sky, and it might be disrupting broadcasts, so... Back soon? Hopefully. Pray for clear skies. 91.4, the potluck. 91.4, the potluck. <laughs> In a high school radio station with your fearless host, Maria Lopez. I'm pulling the overnighter tonight because Kyle, my partner in crime, got sick. Or at least claims he got sick. I know he also just finished rebuilding his Akai 81 8 track and is probably just recording different talks around town. Anyways, I'll be your guiding light tonight, my lovely little moths. So, let's kick the next hour off with another song, right? Here's a something, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Let's let's give that a stop for now. What's going on here? Oh, that's all. Huh. Ugh. My hip flexor is gonna be mad at me tomorrow. Hip flexor. This guy doesn't really exercise much. Oh, what about that billboard thing? What was that? Okay, that sounds kind of... That was kind of weird. Dramatic reading. These half-hour performances of one act plays are sponsored by Headley Textiles. When you need fabric, make sure it's Headley. Oh. Tonight's performance is from a local Camino playwright and is called A History of Almond Trees. I'm sorry, we're never going to get the job done tonight by Roman listening to the radio. are sitting on a bench. Janice taps Roman <laughs> on the shoulder. What? What are you in for? What was that? I asked, what are you in for? Immortality. <laughs> That's the sentence. What's the crime? What do you mean? How did you get here? Well, when a mother it, and a It's father radio love drama. Each other very much. Okay, okay, I understand. If you don't want to talk, then you don't want to talk. I'm pretty excited, though. This is my first time. I, I think. It's difficult to remember. I mean... Things that I thought were important seem impartial, impractical, inconsequential, and matters. Things that I didn't care much about are now of vital importance. Hmm. Oh, it just goes to a different one. All right. Wapiti Trail, day hiking and biking only, sunrise to sunset. Wapiti means deer. <laughs> In case you didn't know. Actually, it means elk. Elk are mountainous, deer are grasslands. Oh. And Wapiti is an Americanization of a Cree word for elk. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> That's a little embarrassing to tell someone something and then they, they just schooled you on it. Well, we met up with Jacob already. Place first transmitter in Camber Cape. So we gotta go up. Let's go up. Ah, uh, 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 slow up. Be careful around those logs. Sometimes it rains and stays slick overnight. But you seem okay. <laughs> you overslip? Sounds like there's a, an anecdote there. <laughs> no. Well, I... Once. Twice, but ne never seriously hurt. Well, w once seriously hurt, but <laughs> I'm fine. I can tell you're not very athletic. What's this? Oh, that? We have some off-color people living this far out from proper civilization. There's people a live here. in town that performs uh, nature rituals. You'll see evidence of it dotted around. Nature rituals? This could be them. Okay. As long as it's not a ship full of dead sunken ghosts, I think I can live with it. Oof. Uh, this part's always a little tricky. Uh. This is the easier path. The other path is faster. But I guess we'll get to know each other less, and Jacob might not like me as much because I'm not really accommodating. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait up a minute. There's a bench over here. 
Can we just take a quick second? Sure. I just need to rest my feet. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can take a minute. <laughs> I could use the break, too. Oh, thanks. Just till my toes stop throbbing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hiking is something you can't really force. Turned out to be a really nice night. Yeah. My uh, dad and I walked these woods before. I was five or six, and we were coming up to the entrance to the, uh, the park, and I saw something off in the woods, something that I just remember it made me slip and fall a little, and my dad, he, he pulled me back so I wouldn't go off the ledge. He hurt my shoulder, and I had to go to the hospital. I've actually... <laughs> I've actually always hated these woods. I didn't even remember that I hated them until now. I think it's because I'm sharing stuff about myself with him. That's why yeah. he's thinking about me more. These woods will kill you if you let them. <laughs> these woods will kill you? What does that mean? Oh, you know, we have a pretty big black bear population, so you know, that and other stuff. All right. Thanks for the stop. Let me catch my breath. Yeah, no worries. You really can't force this kind of thing, man. We gotta make sure we're fit to go all the way up. How are we gonna get up there by truck anyway? By going around the highway? I guess so. Alright, we're getting close. Just over the crest, there should be a clear enough spot for the transmitter. Right, and we can't climb these yet because we don't have the equipment from the general store. Hours, sunrise to sunset. Used to be open to like 10, but someone spotted a bobcat a couple years back. Limited the hours. Because bobcats only operate at midnight, after it's closed. Closed. Locked. And locked. Damn it. The hell do I do? Huh. I don't know another way around. Maybe we should call Evelyn, tell her we're at a bit of an impasse. We can do that. Sorry, this turned into a bit of a headache. I totally forgot that they lock parts of the park up after hours. Do they not know? Hey, uh, Evelyn, this thing is closed, or locked, the way to the summit. Closes at sunset. Okay, uh, that's not ideal. See if you can, um, uh, I don't know, stupid small town crap. I'll bet the bars close at like 2.30 in the afternoon. We gotta get that thing placed up top, so, uh, get creative. Over and out. Wow. Thanks. Let's just climb over, why don't we? Looks like the lock's on the other side. Huh. Yeah, I'd say let me boost you over, but that barbed wire says otherwise. Yeah, that doesn't seem smart. I'd rather avoid tetanus, so no climbing this one. Don't forget about Mercer. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> never would. You're talking about the the resistant antibiotic thing, right? Yeah, I forgot the full acronym though. So what the hell are we gonna do then? This or nothing. Oh, oh well, that works too. There's no equipment. This is it. It is a uh, a proper climb, though. Ah, uh, it's not as hard as it looks. Just find your foot before you grip. Mountaineering isn't exactly on my CV, so uh, knock yourself out there, champ. Oh, okay. You want uh, to wait figuratively. <laughs> oh, come on. It's fun. Good challenge, you know? I'll happily take your word for it. Come open up the gate after your topside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. Whoa, am I gonna jump over there? What's happening? You serious, girl? Without any equipment? You're a researcher, aren't you? Not a mountaineer. And even if you were a mountaineer, without any safety precautions, at night... Oh god, we're alone. Ah, oh, made it. Riley, are you at the summit? Over. Hey, uh, Evelyn. Yeah, I'm at the summit. Over. Ah, oh, perfect. So, when you plant the transmitter, you'll need to adjust it manually a little. Just fiddle with the dish so it aligns with the signal. You'll know when it happens. Sounds good? Over. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, whatever you guys need. Great. Call me back if you get confused or anything. Over and out. Oh, hey, little animal burrow. That's cute, I guess. Uh, the bobcat? The bobcat? 
Hopefully not. Alright, Jacob. Don't you worry, I'm coming to get that gate opened. I feel like climbing that barbed wire might have been easier, though. Oh, hey, you made it. Good job. It was a whole thing and a half. <laughs> I believe it. Awesome, thanks. Up we go. You're welcome. Well, you grew up here, right? You ever buy that story about Edwards Island? About the, the submarine that went down near Fort Milner? The USS Kanaloa? It was a, uh, you know, a uh, casualty of war, right? The USS Kanaloa was the only American submarine down in enemy combat in American waters. It happened right off the coast of Edwards Island. That was touched upon in World War II. the first game. But, uh, you know, some people don't fully buy it. Uh, don't buy what? What do you mean? They think it's a lie? Well, some people say it was friendly fire, that we accidentally bombed our own sub. Uh, why would anyone think that? Oh, I don't know. Little discrepancies, little things, details of the story, not hitting exactly right. Sometimes things just aren't what they seem, you know? Yeah, trust your gut feelings. Anyway, we are here though, so maybe we'll talk about that later. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if you're willing to bend your brain a bit, there's always the other, other story. Hmm? Uh, go on. Do you believe in ghosts? Sure. Sure. Some people, maybe even some people standing right next to you, think the crew members of the USS Kenaloa got lost on the way to the light, let's say. I'm thoroughly creeped out now. Thanks. Oh, I don't mean to give you goosebumps. I'm just trying to give you the back alley tour. <laughs> it, it, it makes sense if the radio wave strangeness is coming from there, right? Mm. I mean, Edwards Island is a weird place. You go there and it's like your feet never really touch the ground. Couple that with an at least semi-questionable tale of maritime disaster, and you have yourself the recipe for a proper ghost story. Eh, don't know. Your mileage may vary, I guess. Look, I can believe it. I've seen crap that's hard to explain, impossible to explain even. So, hey, you tell me a downed submarine crew haunts the coast of Kamina, I won't argue. He likes You're me. kind, but <laughs> let's be realistic. But hey, ghosts, no ghosts, wartime accident, or a heroic defeat. At least we can both agree that it gets too friggin' cold out here. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, I can barely feel my feet. Let's get this done. Oh, agreed. I'm freezing. It's a little weather-worn, but this is nice. They used to have one of those coin-operated binocular things up here. When someone kept sticking gum over the eye holes, it really lost its luster. That's terrible. Who has a time to do that? Oh, whoa. See that? Over Edwards Island. Is that a freaking aurora, or is that ghost? Oh, that storm cloud looks nuts. We don't usually get skies like this. Yeah, that doesn't look great. Kind of foreboding, right? Yeah, maybe. We might want to do this quick. Okay. Okay, so, the transmitter needs to be adjusted manually. Just move the, the thingy until the what's it connects to a source frequency. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, to be honest, I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. Give me a second here. Uh, I want I want the yellow dot. Move it on one axis first, and then, like, try to move it on the other axis. Problem is, I don't know what the correct reading looks like. There's a bigger vibration here. Ah. Uh, I think... Yeah, I got it's it. great. <laughs> I, uh, think... Yeah, so should we call Evelyn? Maybe check with her if it's working? Oh, uh, yeah, good good idea. Hey, uh, Evelyn, we did it. We planted the transmitter. Looks good on our end. Over. Hey, Riley. Yeah, the readings just coming in now. There they are. The signal's clear. You guys did a great job. 
thanks. Oh. Uh, oh. Hold up. It's One red. It's red. Second. Okay. This is a little weird. Uh, guys, tell me what color is the little light blinking? Uh. Jesus. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh no! The triangle. Wait, what is that? Do you see that over Edwards Island? Riley, did you know? Eh, is this is this right? Riley, what's going on? The readings are a little weird over here. Uh, Riley, is this normal? It's reacting. Something. Riley, turn off the transmitter. It. Turn it off. Something's wrong with it! Oh, I was almost there! What is that touching it? Is it lightning? What? This is Edwards Island. Wait. There's, there's someone here. Oh, shit! She did something! She, whatever she Riley. did, Riley! Mom, come on. You tell me all the time. Don't let the concerns of others concern you. Right? Hey, where are we? Oh dear. Riley's traveling. Wait, who, who are you? Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Oh dear. Riley, answer. Wait, what? Hey, hi. Thank God. I didn't know if you'd be in range. I'm Evelyn, a new researcher with the lab like you. This is the start of my fourth week, actually. I'm by Oval Beach. It's about 20 miles out, but I can hear you okay, surprisingly. Can you hear me? Over. I'm Evelyn. I think I'm, I, I might be sick or something. I'm just not feeling very well right now. Oh, no, that's... I'm sorry. Are you not able to perform your duties, you don't think? Or... Or maybe it's not me. I, I just, I think time is going backwards or, or repeating stuff. Repeating stuff? Is that what you, it's hard to, this is your first day with us, right? Evelyn, just, it's just that everything is wrong or, or I don't know. Maybe I. It's okay, Riley. I'll, uh, let's, let's get through the instructions here and maybe we can circle back. You're going to be uh, placing transmitters? Oh, I freaked that's her out. The, <laughs> that's the, the job. In your backpack, you'll find most of your equipment. Should be four transmitters and a test radio. What? Now, here's where I confess that I completely messed up and I totally forgot to pack your climbing gear. Oh no, it's the same. I'm choosing to blame the unforeseen hangover, but... The general store's closed, Evelyn. I get there too late. It's closed? Oh, shoot. Well, can you still head over and knock on the door? It would help me out a ton if they can just let you grab the equipment real quick. Sounds good? Talk to you soon. Over and out. Okay, things are going great. We are back to the beginning. Wait, I thought they were gonna let me look at the crab shack. What the heck? I was waiting for that conversation to end so I could do that. Oh. Whatever, I guess. Well, 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 if it isn't oxen free and time loops yet again.